The images are horrifying and heartbreaking. A couple unconscious from a suspected drug overdose while the woman's four-year-old grandson sits helpless in the back seat. Officers in East Liverpool, Ohio, want the photos to be a wake-up call. When you see that, the shock factor, you know, you get that lump in your throat. It, 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 it's, it's sad, especially when you have children of your own. Police say the couple's car narrowly missed a group of children getting off a school bus before screeching to a stop. James Acord and Rhonda Pasek have been arrested. The child taken to protective custody. When you see something like that, I think you put a face to it, you know, it, it, it's just a, a addiction. It's just terrible. All across Ohio, heroin overdoses are spiking. Over the past two days in Cincinnati alone, 76 overdoses. Every month, 92 on average, double the rate from last year. Nan Franks has been an addiction specialist here for 40 years. Why Ohio? Well, we think in Ohio because we have a long history with the opiate crisis. The kind of pill mill industry was very big in southeastern Ohio. Addicts are increasingly ending up on Dr. Lakshmi Samarco's autopsy table. Heroin now being laced with deadly synthetics. It's very concerning that people are pushing the envelope, you know, to the next high, the biggest high, the maximum high. And as these photos show, children are living through the horror of addiction, too. Tonight, there are calls for Ohio's governor to declare a public health emergency and quadruple the number of treatment options. Right now, those seeking help are often put on wait lists. Lester? Blake McCoy, thank you, Blake. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.